The WTDY Radio Bar. Now, Pam Yock, you get any reports from uh, dry fields and trouble out there or near drought sure. conditions, I guess? Yeah, we've got uh, anywhere from a quarter to about a half an inch what I got from my reporters that rainfall the other morning. But yeah, you're right, Mark. Farmers are concerned. But you know, they maintain their confidence in the crop. The latest crop update from the Wisconsin Ag Statistical Service showed 56% of the farmers across the state said they were short or very short on soil moisture. And yet more than 50% of our corn crop and our soybean crop called good. We've got better than 10% of the corn and beans still rated excellent. So they're feeling pretty good about it. Now, let's see what those prices look like for that good to excellent crop. We'll start off in the livestock. While I do the talking, you take a look at the numbers because what happened today is uh, kind of historical to a large extent. We had a World Ag Supply Demand report that came out from USDA. The historical part was they gave permission to the open outcry, the actual pit traders down in Chicago, to open the pits and trade more than two hours ahead of normal. This is in an effort to try to keep up with electronic trading that's now basically going 24 hours hours for our commodities. So the boys down in Chicago were standing in the pits when that market report hit. What we found out is that supplies on soybeans are tighter than we expected. China is buying more soybeans than we anticipated. Meanwhile, the corn supplies were a little bit looser than we expected because our ethanol demand is not as strong as we had expected. So that's why we're seeing the corn market and wheat market down on the midday while soybeans are trending higher. Dairy markets in Chicago looking a little bit better as well. July milk's unchanged, but August is up a nickel in September and October, a dime stronger. Plenty of action in our dairy product prices today. Barrel cheese was up four and a quarter cents at 156 and a half. 40 pound black cheese up three and a half at 165. And double A butter up a penny and a quarter at 143 and a quarter. So yeah, the long and the short of it, Mark, is that we are in a weather driven market right now. This World Ag Supply to Ban report only added fuel to the weather related market that we're going to be trading in until those measurable rains show up. And from what Bob said, it isn't happening real soon. Maybe this weekend, and that it's hit or miss. Yeah. But All I'm right. with you. Open the windows and enjoy what we can. Enjoy got while we can, absolutely. Yep. All right, we'll see you later.